gonna show y'all something real quick. Me and the woman, we got into it one time. Um, so I ain't the biggest fan. I almost want to ask her questions, but and I know I'm not on great terms. But anyways, um, you're gonna see this Winnebago that's coming up. Not this one. This fucking asshole. It's this one right here. That's the one. No, no, no. It's another one. It's that black dude. There was a Winnebago that was uh, actually parked right there when the cops brought me home. And the reason why I bring that up is because right before... Well, I'm going to start from the beginning. There was a guy who had about 9 a.m. something. He was driving a Dodge Charger. And um, he, uh, I'm just trying to gather my thoughts together because it's just so, so, it's a lot. He was do driving a Dodge Charger with red lines in the back and in the back only. With that being said, he parked right behind me. This is why I have to be the way in which I am. He got out his vehicle. And so he came to where my sliding doors are. So when I saw him, I put on my coat like I usually do when motherfuckers be doing some dumb shit. And all that parking behind for perverted shit. And I locked the door to see what was up. And before I could even get a word in edgewise, this motherfucker sprays me in the face, my whole body as well, with bear mace and tries to grab at me to rape me. And so I start fighting him off. So after fighting him off, he runs back, he hightails it back to his uh, charger. It's an older model charger. And so, you know, now I gotta go to, uh, place to, uh, oh, oh, shit. now I gotta go to, uh, that place to, uh, okay, try to make sure I got it. Now I gotta go to a laundromat to get my laundry taken care of. But it was a white dude. What are you looking at? It was a white guy, white boy. He looked like the typical white boy. He almost looked a little bit like Sugar Ray from, uh, not Sugar Ray, but uh, Sh Sugar Ray from that band, the lead singer. He's also known to put this motherfucker over here. Fucking nasty ass bitch in that motherfucking uh, thing. He looks a lot like Sugar Ray in that, uh, who used to be in that band, Sugar Ray, from back in the day. He looks a lot like him. This creepy ass motherfucker over here. Somebody was starting by his ass. But, anyways, the reason behind why I brought up the girl in the Winnebago with the Washington license plates is is that right before he came and parked behind me and tried to do what he did, which I'm thankful that I fought off, this motherfucker, I heard, because the girl was right behind, she was right around the corner. I heard her Doberman pincher going off. And the only time it goes off is if somebody is around. And the sense that I got was that she was in trouble. That was the first thing that came to my motherfucking mind. So he tried it with another young woman living alone. Thankfully, she has a dog and all in her Winnebago. And then I used my third eye to see what was going on. And I saw through my third eye him pulling that canister of bear spray. Because it was bear spray. That shit was strong. I, I got to go wash my clothes, as a matter of fact. What you looking at? What? But with that being said, I believe that based on what I saw through my third eye, he's done it to other homeless people. 
when I was over at the hospital, I, they brought me to uh, the UCLA Medical Center. I was told that there was another homeless guy, but he was in Santa Monica who had the same thing done to him. And it's kind of funny too, because right after he did that, a friend of mine was saying that he was swerving on the road and shit, trying to escape. I believe he came back and he hadn't, because I only saw the back of it though. I didn't see the full front, but it looked very similar to what he had. And I saw like an entourage of people, including motherfuckers in a, like a gray like Jeep following right behind them. So there were people who were co-conspiring with them, including, you know, uh, one of these people, I think, up here with the food truck. It's a old wet buck ass bitch and her fucking, uh, and a dude. It's not the uh, typical people. I don't think it's them. It's, it's another motherfucking group. So they're all involved, and I'm sure to I'm sure them to you next time because they came around to kind of like mock me, and did that. You know what the fuck you looking at? What the fuck you looking at, man? Turn the fuck around. They came around to do that taunting shit, like that mocking shit. You know, like when something happens to a person, they've done it before, where they'll turn around and. In one instance, I heard the motherfucker honk his horn and everything. So obviously, they got some gang stalker shit going on. And we're doing that fucked up ass uh, thing is there. But anyways, with that being said, I feel like this motherfucker in this particular case, he goes out of his way to target women and tries to violently rape us. So, you know, I went ahead and filed a police report, you know, did all the stuff that I'm supposed to do, because it's a very distinct Dodge Charger, you, you can't miss it, so anyways, with that being said, I got to go into the city before uh, Miss Sundog, simply because of the fact I can't see at night, and get a, uh, I don't know why my fucking charge is acting fucking stupid, and uh, take care of my clothes because uh, the smell of that bear spray is too overwhelming. So I'm going to have to go to a wash and have it taken care of there. So with that being said, you know, young ladies, I'm going to go ahead and give you uh, the license plate at the end. Watch out for this motherfucker. I'm going to put his license plate number at the end. Um, in the middle, the three main letters is GBZ. Hold on a second. I, I know these motherfuckers. They were one of the uh, people that was following right behind. GBC. But anyways, with that being said, you got to watch out for these motherfucking fools because you got some sick motherfuckers out here who don't think of nothing of harming you, especially harming women, because they see that you're homeless and you're vulnerable and they treat you as if you're subhuman. That's why it's important that I maintain my blog and keep my blog up. That's a game. I don't know if y'all saw that part, but I got out to check and see if uh, it was them people or not. It wasn't because uh, theirs was more square than uh, in the end. So anyways, I'm going to go to the laundromat. I'm going to hit it up. Go ahead and straighten some shit out. Get back into uh, Malibu before sundown. But um, this motherfucker going to get caught. He fought with the wrong one. Like I say, he was doing it to other homeless people before me. And he got the right one this time. And uh, the motherfucker, his shit going to get put to an end. Look!